Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. So I've been really happy with my belt set up for a while now. I use this on Search and Rescue as well as SWAT calls, and I've been super happy with it. I've added a new product here recently, and I've been using it in training quite a bit. Really like it. Uh, Prep Medic actually did a video on a while back, turned me on to the company, and I emailed them and asked for one for me as well, and they were gracious enough to send it. Anderson Rescue Solutions sent me one. I got it in stock and then actually ordered a few more for my guys that are tactical medics on my team. So my current belt setup is a blue alpha gear belt with a Molly system. I love this belt, been using it a ton. I've got the Anderson rescue system, rescue strap here. I uh, love it, been using it a lot. And then AR500 IFACT here and then we have a dump pouch that we use for trash and stuff like that. But uh, I really like this rescue strap here. Like I said, Prep Medic did a video on it. I was like, man, that's a cool system. Uh, so I emailed them and they were gracious enough to work with me as well. So I appreciate it. So let's take a look at it. They have two different mounting systems for this rescue strap system. So it's however you want to mount it, where you'll mount it vertically, like I did here, or you want to mount it horizontally. Either way, you want to attach it. One of the things I really like about this pouch is I was worried about if the strap would fall out or not, whether you just do a search and rescue, you get hung on something, or you're doing SWAT and it gets pulled out. So I was worried about that. But they have a magnetic closure here. You can hear it if I can get it to open up. So then when you go to feed it into the bag, your loops are hooked here and the magnetic lock keeps it locked in place so it's not going anywhere. When you need to deploy it, you can just pull it straight out and deploy super easy. So if you need the rescue strap, it pulls loose, comes out, and is deployed. So we have some nice comfortable handles here, grab handles. You get a carabiner, we'll take a look, close look at it in a second. Uh, but you have a nice rescue system that could go along with a halo harness, hasty harness, or you could use it by itself. So now I'll show you how to use this rescue strap along with a hasty harness, halo harness to secure a patient and move them. I think I've done this to you before. Yeah. Why are you making another video about this? Because I needed to. Show the clip there. <laughs> I ain't take it off. All right, guys, this was in case he tries to run from me. <laughs> now he can't run from me. So, the only way we can do this is we can hook through the plate carrier on our downed officer. Just be careful because a lot of the carriers are not uh, drag rated by the handle. These are just for carrying your plate carrier. They do make some really nice carriers that are drag rated. You can just clip into there, but clip in and then pull, but make sure that this is drag rated because you'd hate to hold this and all of a sudden the stitching come loose. So I'll show you how we could use the plate carrier. You got shot, man. Well, I can't lay down. Yeah, no, like... We're gonna link through <laughs> the drag handles. Oops. So we can loop through the shoulder pads here and that will allow us to drag our downed officer. Oh, <laughs> 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 can I take this off now? <laughs> Lady, let me drag you past the camera one more time. Please don't. Lay down over here. Please don't. Huh? Oh, crap. <laughs> you have multiple places here that you could attach the carabiner into these different loops to make it easier to do whatever task you're wanting to perform. I really like this mechanism here because that's gonna lock our strap into place and stop it from sliding all around on the carabiner. Then you have your locking mechanisms. Got a little picture there for you to show which way to lock it and 
that's important. There you can see the stitching along the different loops. So super nice, great quality. I'm very happy with this system. I know you guys are gonna ask, uh, this is made in the USA, so you guys should be super happy about that. The carabiner and the rescue strap are both made in America. I do appreciate Anderson Rescue Solutions for sending me the rescue strap. I liked it so much that I did turn around and order a few more for the rest of our TAC medics on the team, and I was happy to pay that bill. Shows you how much I really like this product. So I appreciate you guys watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember, you need the right gear and the right training.